Hey, what's up? It's Swamp, back for another tutorial. Okay, in this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a track that when you hold down the gas button, it turns on the afterburner. When you let go of the gas button, it turns off the afterburner. And then if you're in the air, the afterburner doesn't work. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is grab a hit trigger. So let's go to trigger to events, triggers, and grab a hit trigger. Okay, and what this is gonna do is this is gonna tell us whether the rider is on the ground or in the air or on a ramp. And how we're gonna keep track of that is we're gonna use a data source. So let's grab a variable data source right here in data sources, grab a variable data source, set it up above the hit trigger. And how to change that, we're gonna to need to use set value events. So let's grab two set value events, set one down, hit triangle to copy it, and then hold down L1 to multiple select, hit the up arrow to get the properties and go to select event targets. And let's select that variable above it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the variable to one if the rider is on the ground or on a ramp. We're gonna set the value to zero if the rider is in the air. All right, so now let's open up this hit target. I mean, hit trigger, sorry. Okay, the first, uh, objects we want to adjust is we want to use the bike so we don't need to use the rider because the rider will die if he hits the ground so we're just going to select bike and the hit trigger objects one objects two we're going to use the ground and we're going to use object instances and this is going to be ramps or whatever you want to ride on that you want the afterburner to be on as well so we're going to select these two ramps i set here to make sure that that part works Okay, and now let's go back. Okay, so now on hitting on hit, that means you are on the ground or you are hitting a ramp. We wanna set this to one. And then disable after hit, we wanna turn this off because this uh, means that the, the hit trigger only works with one time. If you turn disable after hit, then it's gonna continue to work throughout your whole track. Okay, and so then for being on the air, we want to use advanced events. When you leave, on leave would mean if you leave the ground or leave the ramp, which means you're in the air, we're going to set that value to zero. Okay, so that's done. Now what we need is an afterburner effect event. Sorry, not effect. The event afterburner event. And how we're going to control that is with a variable as well. So we'll grab a variable data source, place it here. All right, now let's open up the properties of the afterburner. And what we're gonna do is look at type. And type has three options, on, off, or toggle. And so when you use a variable with these type of sliders, the first option is always gonna be zero, and the second option one, and two, and so on. So we're gonna connect this, pick value object by hitting triangle. We're gonna connect that to the variable. Now you see the afterburner is on, and this is set to zero. Let's set this to one, and the afterburner turns off, and that's what we want. We want to start off with it turned off because it's going to turn on and off with the gas. Okay, so now what we need to do is grab the gas controller. So grab the R2 tile, set that there, and what we're going to do is we're going to use two more set value events so we can change the value of the variable controlling the afterburner. So we'll grab two set value events, put one here and one here. Now what we wanna do is set the value to one. If it's in the air, that thus turning off the afterburner. So select that to the variable for the afterburner with its event target. And then this event target will set it to zero to that variable there to turn on the afterburner. Now to control that, we need to test to see whether you're in the air or on the ground. So let's grab a generic filter. Generic filter here. Okay, so now we're gonna open this up. Comparison value one, we're gonna pick value object by hitting triangle once again, and we're gonna go to this variable. That's gonna tell us if you're on the ground or in the air. If you're in the air, it's zero. If you're on the ground, it's one. And so we want it to be one here. So if that equals one, then the true event would be to set this to zero, meaning turning on the afterburner, and the false event will set this to one, turning off the afterburner. 
Now, for the rafter burner to work, we need impulses sent to it. So we're going to continue the impulse from these two set value events. So select them all. Hold down L1 to multiple select. Open them up. Select event filter. And we're going to go to the afterburner. Okay, now let's adjust the R2. The button, when you press it, you want the afterburner to be on. So we're going to go there. And when on down, we want to use this as well. Because if you're riding, you're holding down the gas and you go over a ramp, it's going to turn off the afterburner. But when you land again, it's not going to, there's not going to be a press impulse sent from the R2 because it only works when you press it. So if you're holding it down, then it'll send another impulse. So we want to use that as well and go to the filter with that. And then on release, we want to go to this set value event to turn off the afterburner. Okay, so now this is all we need. This should work. So let's test it real quick. Test track, afterburner, afterburner. It turns off when you're in the air and it turns it off when you're in the air. Holding the gas right now and it turns it back on. See, let go of the gas, hold gas, let go of the gas. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching and have a good time.